Hey, welcome to another episode of the Mods. I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to answer one of my YouTube viewer questions. Now, they mentioned that their headlight on their non-channel cord is starting to fade and peel, and they want to know if I'm experiencing the same thing, and also if there's any ways to help prevent that. Now, here is my non-channel cord, and as you can see, the headlight is not peeling or it has not started oxidizing, and I do park my vehicle outside in a bright, sunny San Diego weather. And it's been like that for the past six years. Now, some of the things I do to help minimize the fading of the headlight is I do wax and seal them every other time that I do wash my vehicle. And so that has helped prevent it from fading. Now, however, I do have another vehicle over there, the Honda Fit. That particular vehicle, the headlight is in fact fading and the clear coat is I'm starting to fade away and oxidize and so I'll show you that over there. Alright, so here is my 2012 Honda Fit Sport. And, and so here is a close-up of the headlights and as you can see it is oxidizing here. The clear coat is fading. It is all faded all the way up here where the sun directly hits the headlights. And also there is peeling on this side as well and all the way up here and in this area right here as well. Now I did go ahead and purchase brand new headlights because I am going to be doing a HID retrofit kit on this particular vehicle with the D2S HID kit from TRS. But today I'm going to be using this Chemical Guys VSS Scratch and Swirl Remover to see and if I can fix this issue. Now I'm not going to be using a machine, I'm just going to be doing everything by hand and see if I can go ahead and clear this out. All right, so I have here my polishing pad and I'm going to be spreading the product and buffing it out. Again, if you have a machine, it'll be much quicker and easier, but I didn't want to go ahead and take that out. That means I have to run extension cords and everything because I don't have a garage or a electrical outlet in the outside. And you just want to work the product until it becomes clear. All right, so I'm getting tired, so I'm gonna stop and just wipe off the residue and check the work before I continue. So can you guys already tell the difference? The oxidation is pretty much cleared up. There is some little fading still down here and a little bit up here that need to still work on a little bit more but other than that it looks pretty much brand new yeah I gotta work some here and also right here in this corner all right so there you have it a couple minutes with the chemical guys VSS and a polishing pad all done by hand Looks pretty good. And then the last thing I want to do is put a layer of this crystal seal to seal the headlights. Or you can use any other wax that you might have. It's just to protect the headlight plastic right here from the UV rays. So you're putting like a protective barrier coat. For this particular one, you just need to make sure you apply it very thin. You let it dry. And that's it. Right, as you can see, this product definitely works. I'll have the product link in the description below, so go check it out. And if you have this orange pad, which is the polishing pad, it is a cutting pad. 
it does help you get rid of the oxidation a little bit faster. You don't absolutely need it, but if you have it, it makes it a little bit easier. And again, if you have a machine, definitely much easier to do, but you can get the pretty much same results by doing it by hand as well. All right, so the, one of the reasons why the headlight on my Accord is in a much better condition than the headlight on this Honda Fit was because I do go ahead and wax and seal the headlights every so often when I wash my vehicle. Again, I use something like this. You just use a very thin coat and apply it to the headlight and let it dry and that's it. Now for this particular Honda Fit, I didn't wax or seal the headlights because I'm going to be doing a retrofit project with the D2S HID kit as I mentioned earlier. But to fix the oxidation or the clear coat peeling issue, it really didn't take much time to use that product that I just used, the Chemical Guys VSS. It doesn't have to be that product. It can be any rubbing compound um, from Meguiar's or Total Wax that you might be able to find locally and it will take care of this. Now also they do sell headlight restoration kit with it's going to come with like sanding pads and polishing where you attach it to your you know drill and you can do that as well. That also works. So if you want to purchase that you can do that. All right thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.